Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, big question. Are we ever going to be able to reach the desired levels we all want for Terra Luna Classic? Because it looked possible a few days ago when we absolutely peaked here and people were talking about a dollar and so on, okay? The discussion was really, really lit. Many people were discussing this and this was about a month ago. And now it just keeps on going down and down and, and there's a lot of talk of is, is it the end of Terra Luna Classic? Is it over? Those that managed to uh, be at the peak managed to, you know, maybe make some profit or recover some losses or whatever. So what is going on here, right? That's the big question. Some people are throwing numbers such as $1. Are we still going to be able to reach this? Or, you know, a nice, maybe more of a realistic um aim is around one cent so can we go to these levels well right now let me just break it down to you things are very 50 50 because the community just seems to be very polarized very divided it's almost like we don't have like a specific path and we're trying to figure out our identity right and what is going to happen that's the thing so as you know um we had proposals uh, asking for the burns to go up there were many that said no others said yes in the end uh, the burns were obviously not raised because people thought that hey this is gonna kill uh, the volume and CZ actually even spoke uh, about it but others were very strong about the burning they felt like hey you know for us during volumes to, to hold these bags it'd be nice to see these burns and then we could see some nice price action we could see those zeros being deleted so that's what many people wanted as well but in the end the burns did not raise we wanted that 1.5 we didn't get it and after that many people started talking like what is the next route what's the next path where are we going forward i mean well, the community still want to burn. Our central exchange is going to actually start adopting the burn mechanisms. Or are we all just going to have to depend on Binance, on, on the emotions of Binance, whether Binance wants to do it, whether they don't want to do it, how much they want to do it. I mean, we can't be that dependent, right, on this one major exchange. We should be very thankful and grateful for what, for what they've done, undoubtedly. I don't want to say anything bad about them. It's been incredible. But... It would be amazing to actually get all the central exchanges start burning and being on the same path for sure. So the question is, what 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 is the path? I mean, wh where are we going and how can we see our banks uh, prosper and, and raise? And, and all these things that we have, all these proposals of raising bu um, the burns and stuff, they're great. But ultimately, people need that quick fix, right? So... If you guys remember 2024 we're going into a bull run right and regardless of everything that's going around there's gonna be a massive pump of money into the crypto market for sure the market cap is going to rise all the cryptos are gonna see a lot of fresh capital being injected we're talking you know crypto traders and non crypto traders everybody going in retail investors institutions and so on so that is going to really hype up the prices bitcoin's going to go up and we're going to see um all the altcoins follow bitcoin now if you think about it what we saw here this massive peak right this peak looks very very similar to what happened to bitcoin so bitcoin has had a bit of a pump right and everybody has been talking about bitcoin in the past month um, and, you know, the dates coincide with Terra Luna Classic. So obviously Bitcoin has had some effect on Terra Luna Classic. And if Terra Luna Classic can follow Bitcoin, if it, if it can mimic its growth, then guys, with a Bitcoin halving, with Bitcoin ETFs, all that great stuff that is happening in 2024, 
I think Terra Luna Classic could benefit a lot. While we are trying to get uh, all this burning sorted out and the future of all the projects uh, uh, building on chain and so on, okay? I mean, there's a lot to the story. I think this nice period is going to give it and revive the spirits, right? So this is an important factor that you guys need to remember. We're gonna be going into a bull run. So for those of you that are with Terra Luna Classic, you still haven't seen all of it. If Terra Luna Classic pumped so much with Bitcoin's pump, and I believe Bitcoin has contributed a lot to it, imagine, imagine when Bitcoin goes past 100K, and that's the prediction for the Bitcoin halving season, because the supply shock is gonna be massive. There's gonna be so much cash being pumped in. So what is going to happen to Terra Luna Classic? It's craziness. It's craziness, guys. You know, while we're trying to sort out all the, uh, you know, within the domestic issues for Terra Luna Classic, look at the macroeconomic uh, events. You gotta be, you know, at least honest about this. Be honest. I know there's a lot of negative people around Terra Luna Classic that think, you know, because of the past, this thing is a complete failure. I get it. But please, remember what we're going into. We're going into an absolute chocolate factory. That's what we're gonna be going into. So there's a lot going on. And once we're trying to sort out all the, you know, central exchanges and decentralized exchanges, volume, and all that stuff, don't forget about the bull run, most important. Also, you know, as, as many of you are trying to figure out your long-term plans, I think Terra Luna Classic is also a good good place for a lot of um, traders, you know, these day traders and uh, technical analysis traders. So they're gonna be profiting a lot because there's a lot of movements happening. Although uh, we are seeing a lot of drop for Terra Luna Classic, right? So it hasn't been able to consolidate that much. We're just going down the hill, 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 hill. And we're probably gonna be going down even more, right? It's gonna be a, a bloodbath but it is all going to happen until the big event. And when it starts kicking in, when you're gonna start seeing all that capital pouring in, wow, it is gonna be uh, the most you know, joyful days, especially for everything that Terra Luna Classic has, has gone through, all the history, all that past. So it's gonna be a bit of a you know, compensation for many of those that so much uh, would love to see this happen. Uh, not just financial compensation, but also psychological, moral, because it's been tough. It's been, the past has been very, very tough. And as most of you know, you can go do your own research. Uh, it's been catastrophic. People have lost their life savings and so on. So that would be a great, great, great story of a recovery. But as of now, guys, uh, you got to make up your mind. What do you care about? Is it the burning? Do you care more about the utility? Are you waiting for the big bull run? What is in your mind as of now? So let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, turn that notifications bell on. As usual, guys, a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.